The NFL has a link on NFL.com called The Reintegration of the NFL, but it doesn't quite tell the full story. See, in 1934, after African Americans were dominating the NFL, the NFL team owners voted to ban African Americans from the sport altogether. This ban would last for 12 years. And in 1946, when the reintegration process that they speak of began, they reintegrated very, very slowly. So slow, in fact, that by 1965, nearly 20 years later, only 12% of the league was black. And even after the league was fully integrated, black quarterbacks were still not getting the same treatment as they were told coming out of college that they either had to play wide receiver or they wouldn't get drafted. This is why it took so long for the black QB revolution that you're seeing now to take effect. It's also the reason why Warren Moon and Doug Williams elected to start their careers in the CFL. That was the only way they could keep playing quarterback. This process was mostly happening in the 60s and the 70s. And many people still feel that Warren Moon would be statistically the greatest QB in history had he been allowed to start his career in the NFL. Why is this important? Because the NFL is still playing the same game by eliminating African-American coaches as well as African-American owners with backdoor collusion. Jerry Jones, who has never hired a black coach, also did everything in his power not to give Dak Prescott what he deserved. The NFL still has a long way to go in its diversity, and that's why it's important to know and understand your history and how it affects the present. This is Care from Life is Lyrical. Peace, love, lyrics.